I mean, you've talked obviously about, you know, being abandoned by your dad yeah. and, and the, the abuse in your family. Has that driven you? Or... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. And I think that um, it doesn't fix anything, though, in the mm. long term. You keep running, keep running. And I kind of know that I got th to a stage where I was a complete workaholic. And I didn't want to sit still. Even when work was finished, I would go to some Juji do mm. mm. or some charity event because then I didn't have to stop still, sit there and let the pain or the upset or whatever it was the real just, life. Yeah, yeah just overcome me I could escape in the fantasy world but of course when you do that for a long time it will catch up with you and around the time of my fair lady you know uh, publicly everything was perfect and inside I was dying it was horrible and I got really ill but I kept pushing kept pushing um, and I, in the end uh, funny enough I went the opening night of you and my fair lady uh, down the road from here in the National Theatre. Yeah. And it was your opening night. And of course, the production was so long because Trevor, yeah, Trevor Nunn had put material back into yeah. it. So how long was it? Three and a half hours? Three and a half, three hours, 45 minutes. Wow. And you were on the stage for so much. And yet your performance was amazing. Yeah. I thought, how can she keep this up? Yeah. yeah. How yeah. could you keep it up? It, it was a real pressure, especially on matinee days and then all the other stuff going on in your life, the shoots and mm. young with breaking up, you know, in relationships and lots of stuff that I hadn't dealt with. And I think that's why I got the ME and the ME stopped me. Was it was it a, a sudden thing? Did you just get no, this terrible I start, virus? No, I, I just get... I got viruses, I got infections. It just kept going and going. And in the end, I think nothing else would have stopped me. Someone mm. said to me, did the ME serve any purpose for you? And I said... It was the only thing that would have stopped me. So that's a really like interesting that. question to say, you know, did that illness serve any purpose? Because you'd never mm. ask yourself that question. But it's probably, like would a you? doctor in a track. Yeah. She couldn't do anything. I, I had, yeah. I had she to came rest. back a different person. Yeah, and it was horrible stopping. Yeah. And would I want to do it all over again? I've learnt from it, and yes, it fuels me now. But even now, I'm like, oh God, you know, should I be here, or is someone going to kick me out, or you know? And then that voice, the thing that's good that's come out of it is now I've got that voice going, yes, you should. You've yeah. earned your stripes. Well, I had. You've I mean, I've, you and I have talked privately about this because I had Emmy but not as in the same way as you. Mine was yeah. glandular fever and things but I, I was off work well. for a long time but what I learned from it, it was a very long lesson to learn, is that I'm very very protective of my time away from work. Yes. Where before I would have thought, I was a bit, you know, a people pleaser and you say, can someone work this weekend and can you stay mm. late? And I go, oh yes I'll do it, I'll do it and then I realised nobody really thanks you for that when you then fall apart. No. So I was ill for, for a long time yeah. and so it's made that you know, to me, I go, work is work and it's great and I love it, but it's a job. You know your limits now. And I know how to protect my health. So I think I'm not running away from anything. You've got to learn to say Any no kind of sometimes. demons. You know, and, and my parents taught me a kind of really good hard work ethic, you know, mm. um, and that's what I take away from, my, from childhood. But that thing about just working yourself too yeah. hard because that's yeah. what you think everybody expects of you. You know, the show must go on. Yeah, definitely. Mm. And when you're a capable person, you think, I can do it all, yeah. you know, and you don't want to let anyone down, like you say. You think, I can do this, I can do this. And actually, in the end, all you do is hurt yourself. And mm. then guess what? When you stop, it all comes flooding out. And then mm. I was a wreck. <laughs> but now, luckily, I'm fine a bit. I'm still a bit mad. So, Janet, right. you're... <laughs> For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.